So I low-key try waiting to like at least during like the morning or like the middle of Saturday to record this and check in it's already Saturday. It's 12.57. Check in my YouTube channel on my uh, Chromebook. Haven't uploaded in a month. <laughs> It's time we get talking. What's good, y'all? It's a raw. Um, you know what I mean? We just come here to talk, really. I mean, I just came back and stuff. Um, I did go to school. Not the way I kind of wanted to go, though. Not, like, my intentions. Ignoring whatever this is and whatever that is and stuff. Hope y'all are doing well. Um, I'm back for, like, probably, like, the fourth or third time. Throughout this whole break, all I really did was take a vacation to thailand i took a bunch of photos took a bunch of videos even planned a vlog video for thailand and um i was just hoping some of y'all would like to see that and stuff or at least you know like i just thought some of y'all uh would love to see a vlog video a vlog tour to some places that i went through at thailand while i was gone i just spit it on my microphone <laughs> I just thought you guys would love to see um, a vlog, little vlog tour throughout the cities and the uh, places that I went, especially my own birthplace, my village, Mela. I went through Bangkok, I went through Chiang Mai, I went through Maesot in Thailand. It was pretty dope. It was pretty fun. Um, I was able to like meet new people. Um, be happy with the people that I'm comfortable with. And nowadays, since I came back and stuff, it's not really just the fun stuff. It's about deep down the how I feel through the fun stuff. Being with new people sometimes isn't just like meeting them now or something, or like reuniting, I guess you could say. But being in the zone where like you actually feel comfortable with them and like they actually like support you um, and are actually real people, um, who you would feel as if you would look after to, um, kind of, yeah. Those are the type of people that I appreciate the most. I love y'all who really do show support, real effort. Even when I need the time off of YouTube and stuff, deep down showing out, or I guess like you could say, expressing how I feel, um, what it is that I'm going through, what it is that like stopped me from uploading, you know, I, I support the ones yeah hey, yo i love y'all that's all i could say there's really the importance of love um and just a relationship between you and your relatives your families and sometimes even your friends i've met people who obviously recognized me on my youtube channel um which it, it, from people who go to my school i bet some of y'all majority of y'all would already know that i'm a youtuber I'm still banging. Look at that. Oh, the, the light is too, like, yeah, leave it right there. See, y'all can see my name right there on my Chromebook. I guess you could say it's some about not just me as a YouTuber, me as a Muslim, like, or as a kid, like, doing all this. It's some about my community sometimes, um, supporting one another and who or what my community really is, what I think my community should be and how I call my community, all of this and that, to be known for me, all for me, and to have, you know, knowledge spread to each other and stuff, supporting each other, growing like, you know, or giving each other like some vibes, you know what I mean? And like, just vibing out the games I play sometimes or like what I react to most of the time, you know, which is what my community really is. And those are the people who I FW with or F with. I don't know what appropriate words I could say besides that. What I mean by like FW with though is the people that I I can actually support, who I can be real with, um, and really do hope that I succeed. And actually like stays tuned in my channel because like what I meant earlier by like the differences of people in my community, um, even depending on the ones I met already and the ones I've known already who've known me already. Wow, what rhyming. Real ones and fake ones. Real ones is what's been known the most. And I mess with the real ones a little more cause like they they show support that and show like, it's a little bit of evidence that they really prove that uh, they acknowledge me as much as I try to acknowledge them in my videos. 
um because like the fake ones dude so there's like multiple different types of i did this there's multiple different types of fake people out there that would just know me only because they know me for a bunch of reasons fake ones they know i'm a youtuber they just don't watch my videos people uh who have who have known me just not my channel yet people know i'm a youtuber but they don't stay tuned similar to the first one and the people out there who only just hate me deep down and really don't f with me and and like i i honestly just don't like really care it's not like i i don't care about my subscribers like that at all i'm just saying like and even as a youtuber i try finding the best ways in my mind that i could at least come up with to um you know give back to the uh give back to the fans give back to the people who like love me support me and like you know um would want something back from me as much as they give me kind of i guess which has been support that's been support and even as i'm checking right now at 833 subscribers um we're on the knock to a thousand dude if we can hit a thousand at the by the end of the year y'all promise me i'm gonna give some back to y'all oh it's gonna be oh i'm gonna try i'm gonna try it ain't gonna be good, bro. I already know people gonna be typing in the comments. Hey, why don't you give away freaking giveaway cards? Or like, why don't you give away PS5s? Like something, like, you know what I mean? Like. <laughs> <laughs> bro, please don't make me do it, bro. Maybe little kids trying to just impress me so much and then just try to like expose me in the classroom just playing my video like max volume i mean no joke there, there really was kids back in the days like even during class and stuff whether i would be shy to like express it or not people be like y'all a Rod got a youtube channel it's mr goofy man and then they start playing one of my videos from like four years ago about me like expressing my feelings or something it really was like that but nowadays since i've been known who i am and that i've like started something at a like early age or been planned on doing like a youtube career since then nowadays i hardly depending on the feedback i hardly like pay attention to what people gonna say and stuff i mean i i'm, I'm okay with this uh, the good you know feedback and uh a compl compliments and stuff that i give and stuff people who just like look at me like differently or just like like i'll try to explain and like I, I think i said already people who just know me for who i am but just try to like make fun of me and like just do all of this to just say i'm embarrassing myself i never did any of this just to embarrass myself even if i am and am acting crazy and stuff and people like try to point that out or like put you know or do whatever about that on the internet or whatever i just i just love like doing youtube that's just who i am and people have known me for that i just show how much i can try to just support people in person in comments irl uh anybody there's gonna be people out there who really don't like me obviously there's and there's already there already is and it's not like i gotta care so much about that or that i gotta make a diss video or diss track on whoever but as a youtuber it's still like it's still kind of similar to other still one of the answers to the other questions of what do you want to be when you grow up you know like you want to be a singer musician and once you're growing up once you hit that level of grind knowing that you're making it and that you succeed and obviously you're gonna get haters behind your back I've, I've started YouTube since, or this channel since 2020. Replica to my old channel of my younger self that I lost to log into. And I've learned during my break and stuff, and even including while I was in Big Law too. I don't have to be scared because people just up here like reacting to my videos, max volume in the classroom, and everybody's all in one desk. Desk like, is that a raw bro? Who I think I recognize. That. Let's play his videos right now, bro. Let's react to um this video. What are you playing? Amanda the Adventurer Games. Mm. 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 Amanda the Horror Games. That's what y'all like to do.
Hey, are you doing your work? Oh, but yeah, it's all jokes aside, but the only truth, the only like thing I want to just point out and just express and just admit like I have before is it will take time for somebody to recover before, you know, they're prepared to come back on something that they love, whether they're ready for it or not, you know, and I needed the time to like be able to prepare to come back whether I almost did or not. Um, I guess I almost did, but I avoided the lack of grind and decided to come back to it. Well, I mean, I did kind of go on social media. I did while I was gone and stuff. But I did kind of had to take at least a day or two off of it, though. It's not like I was really, really obsessed with the social media like that. Only to just interact with people, not to just see crazy stuff that's been going on and stuff, which I've already seen and heard of, but... I'm like, whenever I see it or just see it out of nowhere, I'm like, damn. Sometimes I really need to take a break. But yeah, it does, it is going to take time, not for the content creator or the whoever you like. It's not just going to take time for them to just um, make the content just for fans only because of, that's something that the fans want to see out of me or want to see out of other people. Like, I got to be forced just to do this and stuff. But it is going to take time to come back because I got to take care of what's going on in reality, not just the internet. You know what I mean? Now, back to what I was saying about Al Oni. Uh, part three, I left y'all hanging with a part three last month. Damn. I did part four of that. I think I did Happy Wheels before I left. I might have to check back on my camera roll. But yeah, hope y'all doing well. Hope y'all took my little advice. I'm going to start taking my advice at this point, even in my sophomore year. With that said, my dear brothers and sisters, in a Muslim, respectful way, coming out of a brother himself, Assalamu alaikum. See y'all in the next one. Yes, I'm, I'm doing two at this point. Assalamu alaikum. Goodbye.